Attention gamers. I love League of Legends, but I also hate it. To be clear I think Riot Games has a monopoly when it comes to MOBAs. And honestly you'd catch Johnny Depp actually harassing Amber Heard before you caught me twirling my wiener around on that bag of shat called Smite or even worse Dota, and Heroes of the Storm might say that it identifies as a MOBA but we all know it was just a fun weekend in turn hackathon project to kill some time in between harassing their employees and pretending that Overwatch 2 is a different game than Overwatch 1 so yeah League is clearly the best and plays like this just feed the dopamine receptors in my dumb addicted brain enough to waste my life on it but despite all of this my desire to play it is slowly dying, and I think the reason why can be summed up by one of Nisa's recent tweets. Nice for those of you who don't participate in League subreddit character assassinations due to your own shameful virginities is a solo queue coach who has helped hundreds if not thousands of dgens escape their own definition of elo hell with thumbnails that make me question the last time he slept but to sum up his tweet, in the stone age before internet gamer girl bath water ridden kids living online neglecting grass, it was generally accepted to try in your games and more generally life's endeavors, but something has changed to the point where in the face of adversity it's now the common behavior to just double down on your own ineptitude and purposely try to suck ass as if it saves your pride and that mentality is precisely what's killing my desire to play this game so today I'm going to show you literally what happens every single night trying to rank up by covering 3 consecutive games I recently played to show what my experience on League of Legends has turned into. Which in summary is. Trolling support stealing farm. Jungler spam pinging me all game people openly admitting to soft inting in close games until they are no longer close, teammates who actively want to make each other lose and your standard stand still inners with the hopes of copium with you my community over the relatability of this situation. Because there's nothing more relatable than inting idiots on the internet, other than ads for raid, shadow legend. All right now that we got that out of our system. <clears throat> In just three short years, since Raid was made, there's been cheers fears and tears, for those who have played. They released the Doom Tower, with badass bosses, 120 floors of power, come prepared or count your losses. With endless new champs released, some hot some not some strong some weak, there's dwarf sectomorphs and scary beasts, each with crazy kits each so unique, not to mention the Shadowkin, a whole new faction from the east, a liberated tribe with thick skin. They're one of the coolest backstories to say the least. Then there's a Hydra boss, with six damn heads, almost every encounter results in a loss, as the death count spreads. So as Raid turns 3, it's the perfect time to play, and if you use my link or scan the QR on the screen, they'll send some free gifts your way. For new players you'll get a 40 buck gift, Misericord Romero Tiger Soul and some bruise to give your lineup a lift. And for returning players, I'll make sure you get paid. You'll get 25 bucks of loot by using code 3 years raid. So give raid a try and join the birthday jam. Don't leave me high and dry after this rhyme green eggs and ham. Alright so I was playing Quinbot which I know will have a few head up ass humans chirping so if you want to say me playing my highest win rate champ in this role despite being off meta is the problem after watching this video by all means advertise your stupidity but in game 1 I have this Ash who is doing a fantastic job of helping me push wave in while the enemy is back only to then seemingly receive a dare from her inbred cousin slash brother to right click the enemy nexus so she gets blown like Johnny Sims and then decides that the outcome was a result of ADC gap huge. This is then followed by me apparently going from intermediate to expert difficulty in the CSing mini game as she is now attempting to last hit but I guess she has to pass the time before getting catfish cucked and sent back to the dressing room as I get lit on fire and introduced to a resetting rabbit which brings a whole new meaning to the phrase flash bang and this is one I will just have to play slow and try to farm well. Except for the fact that this malicious moron decided to wake up today and choose violence but I was finally able to farm in peace when butt plugs McGee decided to bother my mid laner instead who clearly was slightly less tolerant of him being around, so you could say that the fizz was a bit frazzled but luckily him being out just meant he would side lane while that smelly asshole would stink up other areas of the rift alone. But here's the thing 10 years of playing this game has made me numb to babysitting failed abortions like this so I kill he who can't be killed then with the help of a white tighted male stripper to remind their fed bot lane that they are still a bot lane, and me checking on flamboyant allergic reaction by to see if she needed directions to her own base and we were turning the tides of this tilt fest. Every time they thought they had a pick they got a bit sloppy with the hoppy and even the ashtray of a support was contributing instead of spreading cancer. She was still getting caught like herpes in a whorehouse but I was willing to put our first impressions of each other aside to bail her out. 
Four of us were giving the same fate to Vi that her family got while the last one of us was laughing at Riot's announcement about there being too much damage while soaking six dicks worth of damage up like a scrub daddy until the rest of us got there to play clean up. Sure the soft inting shitbag was always dead but we were defying the odds in this one and despite having a teammate that was unanimously being voted off of Summoner's Rift Survivor Island, this first win gave me hope that you can still win with an inbred donkey on your team as I queued for a second. This one I'm playing the hopping alien seaman spawn myself just waiting for that spin slut to think it's safe to pick up a knife and then I front flip onto that ass light a match and right click until my name gets announced. But here's the thing my Karthus support must have been made of metal because he was a magnet to those hooks so he dies and then before you can say I hate this piss pit of a game League of Legends he is back with his bot lane butt buddy for a cute ratchet ass river death duet which on the surface looks like your typical innocent inting bot lane nothing to phone home about until you consider the fact that one is chirping more than a dying hen and the other one is a flat out racist so not 7 minutes into game 2 and my ADC has announced that he will now be identifying as a mid laner while the floating statue of a support remains remains consistent in just being a dead bitch. Turns out Jennifer Lopez isn't having much more luck mid but I've got a policeman penis half chubbed at the sight of this clumsy crime scene get away so I hit a hop into purple pop on that sword porting dizzy dancer before chasing away that rusty tin twat like some barking chihuahua all while the counting cuck lord is falsely announcing that my whole team agreed to bend over and just accept it while Karthus is reaper balls deep under tower. And considering my nerves are on edge after nearly escaping the dumb ash from last game I'm hiding the fact that I'm more tilted than the Tower of Pisa with some perceived positivity until Jin says every teammate's favorite line to see. So despite the fact that a dangerous dance with Dreadlock Ronaldo earns me a shutdown and the toxic tiptoeing psychopath a free kill, Floaty Freddy paid good money to get sucked off and was adamant on sticking around until that happened. But trolling or not at least that stupid sperm cell still knows how to push his alt key while I'm trying my little rabbit dick off to slaughter spinny tits who was somehow now worth shut down. Then all of a sudden my top lane Nico is assuming the role of our team's PR manager announcing that we agreed to give up all while Kat is calling me a rat after getting spanked like a porn star in a maid outfit herself during lane phase. Meanwhile Lee is getting caps in his ass by Ted Lasso Lucian as I arrive just in time to make bullet boys balls blue as shit. Karthus is over here trying his hardest to stop the mid push. And because of this every time I kill someone they are worth shut down it just seems a little bit off that every single enemy is worth a bounty wonder where they are getting that gold but eventually an inting support a top lane Nico who has given up and whatever the fuck you wanna call this crybaby Jin and we have an all you can eat buffet's worth of reasons unrelated to League of Legends skill why the second game got thrown away so let's see how numero 3 felt on the gooch hairs. Okay now the beginning of this one is a bit controversial, we were successfully stealing their blue all was good until Kindred decided to build enough suspense to be a scene in a fucking Michael Spielberg movie before taking the damn buff and after a delay long enough to jerk a dick my peanut sized brain was thinking a million things, did he DC, is he tabbed out, did he die of a heart attack, is he giving it to me, is he getting slob gob under the desk who the hell knows this is goldie low so I popped a cap in that bitch myself before it reset. Now if we go back I am guessing that he was actually waiting for Twitch Poison to run off to make sure his auto got the kill which it would've and I think I proved that but I will put my tail between my legs pull my scrotum over my head like a shameful hood and admit that I 100% after rewatching this was in the wrong and I fucked up and I was ready to spend the rest of the game making up for it. So I received the standard amount of ping spamming and name calling and I know he was behind and would have to take his red late and without a leash so sure I get the initial pissy pants party he threw over the course of 600 pings plus I myself was off to a limp dick start with my support offering the enemy gold practically intravenously, and of course 10 minutes later every misplay by the kindred was obviously still my fault for stealing the enemy's blue buff from her at the start of the game but my good friend Dick Swindoll once said life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you react so I'm trying to let the whole I fuck this guy's girlfriend situation sit in the past trying to toast tips and help him catch up but some lead players hold grudges more than others I guess. But I also have to worry about my Akali who is a bit of a flight risk herself so I counter gank and spank that depressed toddler before scaring off the dead dock worker. It's 15 minutes in now so naturally two of the preschoolers on my team want to play Fortnite while I'm doing my best shallow pool impersonation by showing Pike that diving me is dangerous and if done wrong could be deadly. 
This opens the Gosu girl with the goggles up to get gang banged by an ADC and the jungler who hates his fucking guts so I ping that I will assist and then almost drop the ball hard which almost certainly would have resulted in this guy tracking me down IRL and shitting in my bed but a buzzer beater keeps the baby bitch from dying thank Jesus there will be no amber hurting me today. The angry elf on the shelf is popping off so I river roam up north to do a backflip off his forehead before laughing at this pike's accuracy and I'm hoping that a little group homicide from all this traveling will act as some much needed team building exercises to get everyone back on track and actually trying to win the game they are playing. We get dragon and pick up some toys in the enemy's bedroom as I try to crack a joke that my remedial ass is capable of learning because this time I didn't accidentally misinterpret a stupid fucking freeze thing kindred was Anyways one more visit mid to say hey to that little Billy Eilish midget simp and we even had angry Akali on a rampage. JK she wanted to ff still for some reason even though everything was turning around with even tumble tits up top dying to our mole rat and I think kindred was even willing to start trying again. Turns out you stop one mental boom and another pops right up like a game of whack a raging mole as Akali now wants out for some reason and that reason is because at 22 minutes into a goldie low game her teammates are coming mid so she is now and I quote just going to soft int. So I try to talk that bitch off the ledge being more accommodating than a damn doormat practically willing to kneel down and fondle ball sacks with my eyelashes at this point just to have teammates who try in my games but no per brainless mind has been made up so despite us actually having the lead. This kindred wasn't even the biggest crybaby bitch in this game as she was trying but Akali was just rotating her cooldowns in fountain for the rest of the game except for the one time she came out to Mardi Gras on Bourbon Street streak her dying titty straight into four of them and so yep we obviously lost that one. So at the end of the day I'm just a player trying to get better at the game and climb by improving, I make dumb mistakes and try to make up for them. But when 6 of the 12 teammates you saw in this video either completely gave up or actively started trying to lose, it's making me start to hate my favorite game. Sorry for the rant but let me know in the comments if any of you can relate. Rav out. I'm hard stuck. That's what all the haters say. I'm hard stuck. Giving all my LP away.